RSC has an egg freezing program that's been in existence since 2006. Now we were freezing eggs even before that time, especially for patients that had cancer or other unique situations. But in 2006, we launched our egg freezing program, specifically targeting women who wish to delay their fertility by freezing eggs now for use in the future. Over the last several years, the technology has changed a bit, and we're now freezing eggs using vitrification. This is much more successful and has resulted in higher survival rates for those eggs, giving more women the chance to conceive when they've frozen their eggs at a younger age. American Society of Reproductive Medicine just released a statement that removed the term experimental from egg freezing. What this does is it allows women the opportunity to freeze their eggs knowing that there are proven outcomes with this technology. These outcomes are pregnancy rates that are very similar to pregnancy rates they would have achieved had they done IVF with those same eggs. What this means is that the impact on the eggs from freezing and thawing is negligible if it's done at a good clinic who uses a good technique. Reproductive Science Center has been doing this for a while. We've fine-tuned the technique to make sure we're protecting the eggs to the best of our ability to give the highest pregnancy rates when they're thawed and used in the future. Egg freezing can be very successful depending on the age of the woman and the quality of her eggs. The younger a woman is, the stronger and healthier her eggs are, and the better able they are to withstand the freezing and thawing process and result in a healthy embryo in the future. So oftentimes what we like to do in an initial visit is talk to a woman about the chance of success. We do an antral follicle count, which is an ultrasound of her ovaries, and then we recommend several lab tests to help determine if she's a good candidate. These lab tests include an FSH hormone test and an AMH hormone test. With these two tests, we can help determine the quantity and perhaps even the quality of the eggs that she may be able to freeze. And using this, give her a realistic statistic for how successful it would be. For most women, this means it may be successful in the range of 35 to 65 percent for one uh, for cycle of freezing eggs. Now again, that's not 100 percent because not a single IVF cycle creates a baby every time. But this is a very reasonable chance of pregnancy for women who wish to defer their pregnancy to the future to a time that may be more opportune. Ideal candidates for egg freezing include any woman under the age of 40. While some women can still conceive with in vitro fertilization over the age of 40, it becomes much harder as the quality of eggs are not as good. However, for younger women, that quality is better and better able to withstand the freezing and thawing. So these women typically will have an antral count of eight or nine. They'll have an AMH hormone test that's greater than one and an FSH hormone test that's less than 10. These are the ideal candidates. A uh, cycle of egg freezing in general costs about $8,000 at Reproductive Science Center. Now, the cost of medications is in addition to this, and if you decide to use the eggs in the future by thawing them, fertilizing them, and transferring them back, that may be an additional seven or $8,000. However, the initial costs include all of the procedures done here at RSC to stimulate the ovaries, to monitor them, and then to undergo the small surgery with anesthesia where we remove the eggs. If you'd like more information on egg freezing, please feel free to contact us. We can sit down with you and really talk through all the options, give you an idea of what your fertility potential is, and help you make the right decisions to have a family in the future.